globalize tool settings means otherwise you can say tool configuration not only settings you can say globalized tool configuration configuration <clears throat> say first one simple topic but important topic what is globalized to uh, tool settings what is globalized tool settings next why why globalized tool settings next how to globalize what why how how to globalize how to globalize hmm and gopal yesterday i uh, yesterday i gave a brief introduction about this uh, globalized tool settings uh, can you tell me what is globalized tool settings uh, you want to use different different configuration based upon no Mm. no description not matching <clears throat> can you tell me naomi what is globalized tool settings yesterday i gave brief introduction about uh, that concept uh, that is different concept that concept is maintaining different configurations in same environment that is different concept don't confuse see when gopal also confused that is different concept what is that concept maintaining different configurations in same environment suppose we have three web applications or three sap applications but configurations different that time we can create three different configurations and maintain configuration files predefined aom script files vbs files by executing those files we can get configuration that is different concept ah uh, can you tell ah uh. see first of all don't confuse that is that i object identification configuration object identification configuration one of the configuration in tool configuration getting my point that is not total thing object identification configuration is not total configuration of the tool say other configurations also there example tool options configuration tool settings configuration the small things but major major thing is uh, object identification configuration only but that is not complete thing one of the configuration okay say say uh, all of you put mute i will explain what is globalized tool settings <clears throat> providing common configuration for all missions all missions in a project providing common configuration already i told qt uh, uft formerly qtp uft is one tier application it doesn't have any client server architecture so if uh, we four or five members working for a project using four or five different machines we need to globalize settings see what is globalized settings providing or, or you can say provide common common configuration or settings 
providing uh, provide common configuration provide common configuration for all missions all missions in a project got the point when gopal still confusion ha ah. next to why globalized tool settings already indirectly we discussed uh, since uft is one tier application uh, no client server architecture if it is client server application if you perform settings at server and all client machines can get same configuration but it is one tier application we need to globalize tool settings see why globalize tool settings see qtp doesn't have any client server architecture in order to provide common configuration for all machines uh we need to globalize tool settings it is one tier application stand alone application next how to globalize you know yesterday indirectly i introduced that concept using generate script feature using generate generate script see after configuring generate script that is predefined aom file vbs file uh you can share those files to your company network by executing those files all um team members can get same configuration that is about how to globalize using generate script say i will show a small example concentrate say just create one folder uh to share uh, this folder to all team members uh, for sharing to all team members suppose tool settings tool settings any meaningful name you can use next in three areas you can find tool set uh, tool settings first area file file menu file menu these are the important areas file menu settings settings next tools menu tools menu object identification object identification next same tools menu options tool options see in these three areas you can find uh, primary settings first uh, uh, configure required settings according to your project after configuring settings here observe bottom generate script feature is there click on that the generate script feature next browse path see desktop or uh, tool settings this is test settings any meaningful name you can use test settings a uh, file extension vbs save next second area tools object identification suppose yesterday we use the standard windows say one minute 
ఓకే నేటివ్ క్లాస్ టెక్స్ట్ హై టు విడ్త్ హియర్ బాటమ్ లెఫ్ట్ టు రైట్ బాటమ్ లెఫ్ట్ టు రైట్ సెకండ్ ఆప్షన్ జనరేట్ స్క్రిప్ట్ సి ఆఫ్టర్ కాన్ఫిగరే ఆఫ్టర్ కాన్ఫిగరింగ్ సెటింగ్ రిక్వైర్డ్ సెటింగ్స్ జనరేట్ ద స్క్రిప్ట్ దిస్ ఈజ్ సపోజ్ ఓబీజే కాన్ఫిగర్ డాట్ విబిఎస్ క్లోజ్ నెక్స్ట్ టూల్స్ వన్ మోర్ ఏరియా ఆప్షన్స్ వన్ మినిట్ సి హియర్ జిఐ టెస్టింగ్ హియర్ సమ్ ట్యాబ్స్ ఆర్ దేర్ ఆ కాన్ఫిగర్ ద సెటింగ్స్ ఆఫ్టర్ కాన్ఫిగరింగ్ హియర్ జనరేట్ స్క్రిప్ట్ ఈజ్ దేర్ జనరేట్ ఆప్షన్స్ డాట్ విబిఎస్ see vbs files created you can share these files through company network by executing these files all team members can get same configuration okay i will show one small example concentrate see object identification configuration tools menu ఆబ్జెక్ట్ ఐడెంటిఫికేషన్ హియర్ సెలెక్ట్ ఎన్విరాన్మెంట్ స్టాండర్డ్ విండోస్ నెక్స్ట్ సెలెక్ట్ టెస్ట్ ఆబ్జెక్ట్ క్లాస్ విన్ బటన్ హియర్ వాట్ ఈస్ ద కాన్ఫిగరేషన్ మ్యాండేటరీ ప్రాపర్టీస్ నేటివ్ క్లాస్ టెక్స్ట్ అసిస్టివ్ ప్రాపర్టీస్ హై టు వెడ్త్ నెక్స్ట్ వన్ మినిట్ వన్ మినిట్ smart identification enabled smart identification visible window id base filter properties option filter properties focused x coordinate okay see okay you just remember these two things mandatory properties and assistive properties mandatory properties native class text assistive properties height and width ah uh, next click uh, okay or cancel no problem ah just come back to old configuration come back to old configuration mm, you know how to come back to old configuration say select environment otherwise three options are there left side bottom see i am just resetting this environment standard windows if you select last option reset all it will reset all option all and all loaded environments all loaded environments not all environments all loaded environments now i want only standard windows see middle option reset test environment see yes now select win button now see this is default configuration native class text to window id here ordinal identifier location no smart identification earlier configuration native class text width height next smart identification enabled ordinal identifier index ah okay click okay close the tool Uh, say run this configuration file suppose i came back to old configuration after 3 or 4 after 3 or 4 months again i want to execute regression tests on old application i have old uh, old application configuration say uh, run this file obj config see it launches qtp tool internally it performs settings it launches qtp tool 
internally ah see launched tool launched tool launched see this is predefined aom script predefined aom script see create a quick test application earlier we used this quick test application object for batch testing okay next check the settings check the settings tools object identification standard windows a uh, win button mm. see in trial version some problem is there run once again see still it is showing after executing that file also still it is showing a default configuration native class text to uh, window id it has to show width height in assistive properties uh, again again run the uh, this file executable file the qtp tool launched internally configured see tools menu object identification select environment standard windows select test object now observe can you observe when uh, lavanya configuration changed na ah uh, in assistive properties you can find height width next smart identification enabled and ordinal identifier index see like this we can globalize tool settings see next concept 